This is the National Ozone Summary for Summer 2011, brought to you by Air Now. This graphic illustrates the number of days on which ozone levels reached unhealthy for sensitive groups or higher on the Air Quality Index, or AQI, in major cities across the U.S. This information is based on data from monitors reporting to Air Now and is not used for regulatory purposes. For each city, the red bar indicates the 10-year average number of days that were unhealthy for sensitive groups, or USG, from May through September. The orange bar represents the number of USG ozone days in 2010, and the blue bar represents the number of USG ozone days during 2011. In general, 2011 ozone levels were near or slightly below the 10-year average in most U.S. cities. Cleaner cars, industries, and consumer products have contributed to cleaner air for much of the U.S. However, ozone remains a concern in many areas. Ozone forms when emissions of nitrogen oxides, or NOx, and volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, react in the presence of sunlight to form ozone molecules. Ozone levels are influenced both by emissions from sources such as power plants, industry, cars, trucks, and buses, and by weather conditions. Let's look at how 2011 ozone levels compared to levels in previous years from region to region. Across the southern and central U.S., above normal temperatures and persistent sunny skies enhanced ozone formation throughout the summer of 2011, leading to more USG ozone days in 2011 than in 2010. This map shows temperature departure from average during May through September. The Northeast also experienced unusually warm temperatures in the summer of 2011. However, more frequent storms limited ozone formation and dispersed pollutants. As a result, most cities in this region experienced about the same or fewer USG ozone days in 2011 than in 2010. Along the west coast, cooler than normal temperatures led to fewer USG ozone days in 2011 than in 2010 in San Francisco and San Diego. For more information on current, forecast, and historical air quality conditions across the U.S., please visit airnow.gov.